there's an old saying that I love, and it goes, um, you can't make a mirror by polishing a brick, and you don't become a Buddha by just sitting. People are surprised when they start to learn advanced meditation practices that we begin with Zazen. There is so much more to Zazen than simply calming the mind and sitting without moving or speaking. There are levels that you can progress through to deepen your experience of presence. There are also other forms and methods of meditation used in Zen. There's walking meditation, which can be a very slow, sedate walk, or even a fast walk. There is gaining the skill of meditating in motion. You could go jogging and meditate, be on a bicycle and meditate. You know, this, this appeals to many people. You can learn how to meditate while moving. You know, that's something that allows you to calm and center yourself and be in the moment no matter what you are doing. You know, again, a good example is someone who practices a martial art. If they learn how to meditate in motion, they truly become a force to reckon with because they will cease to be a series of learned patterns of responses and initiatives, and they become a flow of energy on the mat. It is a skill that people can use in businesses, schools, life in general, you know, home life, families with kids. There are healing meditations, meditation techniques to generate compassion and loving kindness, ones to work with forgiveness and to build openness. Once you have begun to, to build a practice of sitting zazen, then you can begin to acquire for yourself an entire library of techniques that you can use throughout your life to help you to always remain in compassionate control of how you exist and react to what is going on within you and around you.